All right, so here is a 4.6 liter in a Crown Vic from 1997. I pulled the fan out for one of the fans, the one that belongs over here, and uh, that's the electric fan type of the air conditioner. Because um, I'm having interesting things happening with the heat temperature. Um, right now, I'll show you. Okay, so as we can see, temperature is pretty much normal right now. But if I do any hard driving, or not hard driving, but just driving around, as opposed to sitting in the uh, driveway idling, the temperature is going to go up into the uh, hot region. Maybe I can point it out with my laser pointer here. Um, not quite in the super hot area, but getting close up to it. So, and I just put the new um, intake manifold on here in the, the border that was inside was a bit on the rusty side. I stand over here so you can hear me. It was a bit on the rusty side, so I'm thinking that the radiator is one of a couple things. Is it, you know, the system is kind of clogged, um, or the radiator is just sat kind of seizing up a little bit, not seized, but, you know, clogged up. Scotty Kilmer mentioned that uh, since it's an aluminum radiator that they uh, get like a I'm not calcification or some kind of they just kind of corrode and well I'll show you what I'm observing here so not so sure how well you can hear me I hope you can anyway I'm gonna aim this little cat toy <laughs> what good for when it's not chasing the temperature. But anyway, look over there. I'm aiming at the edge of the radiator and I'm reading 153. I'm going to keep it relatively level with the top of that area here. And over here I'm getting 191. So now, I know the temperature on these things isn't exactly, you know, government specification, but as I'm creep across here, there's definitely something happening where it's hot on one side and cooler on the other. Now, the, um, the hotter side, well, here's the thermostat coming into the radiator, I guess, coming out and into the radiator so that would be the, this would be the output side then and then everything else down below over there and actually there's a well can't see it but there's an intake down below that goes to the block but down there is the other part of the hose the lower part of the radiator hose over there. So, and the other end of that hose is what goes up to the block. And there's another part of the hose that goes up into the overflow tank over there. And that's how these are designed. If uh, any are familiar, you're familiar with the, the setup, it's pretty much the same on all of them. So, let's try it from the other direction now. So, switching directions, because I'm thinking, well, maybe the gun is because it's closer or further away from the water, maybe that's having an effect on the gun. Focus. Apologize about the focusing if there is any. Maybe that'll work. Anyway, so let's 
shoot again. And sure enough, reading kind of low over here. Let's go up and down. Alright, up there. That's strange. Again, like a high up there. As soon as I go down though. And I keep in and it gets warm again, a little bit. So hang on, what the heck's another radiator in that? Hotter, no, warmer. Cooler, cooler, much cooler right there. Ain't crazy, we're gonna have to go across. Go across from here. And still warmer on that side of the radiator, you know, this here the probe is further away from this, that side of the radiator. So that's what I was trying to figure out is if uh, the probe is just by virtue of being closer or further away to something, will it read hotter, colder? So, as you can see, there's definitely something weird going on here. aiming downwards a little more. So, over there, 168, and kind of the end of a way over here. Definitely cooling down. It's always in the same area, just as the, getting to the, the, the well, to the driver's side, uh, passenger side of the radiator. What is that? Uh, maybe you get down too much. I thought I saw 109. But it's definitely inconsistent. I don't know if that's normal for it to be inconsistent, but, well, I may be hitting the, uh, the tubes and an air section and the tubes or whatever, but uh, even as it may still, this whole area here, right here, this is very suspect. I mean, I shouldn't be seeing 130 degrees here. I mean, even if I'm sitting above it, it's higher. I just read above it, it was higher. Go down, down, then it gets hot again. But over here, it's like a little dead spot right there in the radiator, isn't it? So, I'm just gonna set up and uh, get to posting this and see what you all think. Is Scotty Kilmer right? Are there sections of the radiator that are just kind of clogged up and I need to change the radiator out? I did put a new thermostat in, uh, 180 degree thermostat in case you're curious. And the, the tank is, yeah, right about there. So that's normal. And the intake manifold is holding up, and I want it to stay that way. So. Yeah. Let's this for a moment. Let's just take it around the block and see what happens. I don't think I can keep it on here the whole time. But we'll, we'll try. Just about done taking it around the block, and uh, well, we'll go ahead and uh, see, see what the temperatures look like. Uh, uh, these weird, you know, drop offs over here. In this area, this kind of area. Over 
here. Pretty strange to me. So that is the problem with uh, your crown pick. Like I said, they like today, not a big deal. Uh, I'm gonna go put. The electric fan back in and uh, so I can get around back and forth to work. Very strange. Tell me what you think.